Hello, welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make a leather game in Scratch. So let's begin. So let's read in titles to see. Okay. Oops. I should be here. Now, let's begin by creating a snake. So, let's go to costumes. Delete the first one and leave the second one because we can actually not delete it. So, now let's just clear this. Oh. And now, let's build a snake. Um, so, let's get green color. Um, for saturation, and just going to make it a bit smaller, like that should be good. And get a circle and make your circle like that. Let's see if the snake looks good. Yeah. Now let's make its eyes. First of all, let's make the snake bigger because. It looks it looks very small, so I will just make this big. I guess looks good. And now let's create eyes. So black eyes. Let's see. Yep. Face. And now let's make it his tongue with the red color. Um, like that. So now we have a slither uh, snake. So now let's uh, let's create a new sprite and let's create its body. So I'm just going to go to uh, the the snake's head and select the green color from it. But you can of course do different colors. Good. Now let me make a circle on out of the middle like that. And put it right here. Good. Like that I look I think it looks good. And now let's go by in the snake. And now let's add a event when green flag clicked oopsies when green flag clicked go to zero zero and then you need a point in direction which direction you always want so now we need to create two types of variable first one is going to be a score click hit enter and the other one is going to be this pawn rate okay so let's just make a pawn rate spawn rate for all sprites click okay so now let's just set, set score to zero the score to zero. So you can also duplicate it. So spawn rate, spawn rate to zero. Oh, sorry, not zero. Zero point three or zero point one. Zero point one. So it. Whoopsie. I guess I will just delete one. One zero. So like that. Good. Now let's uh, add a set size to hundred percent. Oh sorry. Switch backdrop to backdrop one. I will just change the backdrop at the end. And now let's go and get a forever loop in control. 
grabbing motion move move ten steps move five steps down like that and now let's get to grab an if statement if he right arrow pressed right arrow pressed ten five oopsies five degrees look that way and turn five degrees that way so I'll just change the both both amount so I wouldn't have to change next time so I'll just delete this put this in place and now I'll go to if left pressed now looks good now we need a if touch if if block again if statement if oops, I'll just grab it go to sensing touching grab a sprite to other body of the snake then stop all Stop all of the in control. Stop all. Now it's done. So good. We are here. Done till here. Now let's um, uh, grab another when we in fact licked. Then grab another when we in fact licked. We need a forever loop. Wait, wait one second or spawn rate. I'll just go to variables, rate spawn rate seconds, and then click on off myself. Oh, not myself. Sorry, we need to click on off part two. So now let's go to the body sprite. So now I will go here. When I'm going to flag, oh sorry, when I start as a clown, not when I'm going to flag, select in control. When I start as a clown, show and uh, go to control, uh, uh, grab a wait, wait seconds. We need a um uh, wait uh, we need a delete this clone block wait times an operators time score oopsies score and spawn rate good now let's go to create a new sprite and yeah we need a also go to motion go to not random position go to sprite one or the snake now let's create a new sprite make h and a food of the snake and then we'll grow with this ah not a bell To the, and then let's continue and now let's go in the apple sprite so now let's go uh, in when in events when we in fact clicked forever loop forever loop in control if in control a statement in control touching snake let's just go to sensing touching snake the straight one then we need a change score by boy change change score wait, wait, wait. change score by one 
and go to random positions. Hopefully now it will work. So let's just start. Good, like that. Like that. But we need it too high, so let's go to our the uh, body sprite and let's grab it when green flag clicked hide so it will not share like that let me just choose a backdrop i will choose i will just choose from patrons i will choose stripes looks good because my snake is green so the stripes are green so now let me test the game out oh yeah sorry and the apple size is a big big bit big and now i'll just switch to backdrop stripes and the size of the apple should be 50 like that good now hopefully the game it looks good to me if i think this is the end of this tutorial i think this is the end of the game it looks perfectly working um look it's getting bigger and bigger as we get like yeah and yeah i should hide the spawn variable first and if we touch into our the body and the game stops now let's just hide the spawn rig now this is the end of this tutorial i hope you like the video please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned peace